Hello everyone, this is the Naster Chief One, and welcome to my Croc Let's Two Let's Play Part Two. Um, now we are going to commence with that boat race that I mentioned in the previous part. This is actually a very simple and very fun boat race, so don't worry too much. I actually quite enjoyed myself in the game in this race. And don't worry about um, the other competitors, they always get a um, lead at first. I'm going to do um, like I usually do, where I'm going to skip all the color gems and just try to get first place. And then I'll go nab um, all the color gems later. Well, I'll show you, show myself nabbing all the color gems after I um, finish the race the first time. That is, unless I collect it all my first time anyway. <laughs> but either way, it doesn't really matter. I really like the music, music for this boat race. isn't it? Uh, get off my back. in the game, so you can come back here many times to actually revive all of Croc's health and collect a lot of cash um, or in order to help you buy stuff for Swap Me Pete's shop. What? Well, Swap Me Pete's shop. Thank you, Croc! No problem! Well, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, and now I'm going to show off myself collecting all the color gems. This is such a fun race. Aside from being so easy. And I have to say that if this was a little a little kid a little kid playing this um game, they would definitely um, find this entertaining. And not only that, um, pretty darn easy, which is understandable. Surprised, surprised that jungle environments would be in a um, would be in, in a nautical or a sea-based um, village-like environment. I really am. I would suspect it would be more like forest rather than a jungle. And it looks that way, except for the long -term.
lost what a pity. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna now cut ahead to, um, when I got to the next level, so see ya. Okay, I'm back. So let's get started with the next level. And I have to say that this next level is actually um, kind of tough. And it's annoying as well. Birdie been stolen, and Teenies must have taken Birdie. Gobbles in village be sad. Gobbles need Birdie back. He village mascot. Hawk, go look for Birdie in jungle. Wait here. Yes. Before that, we need to um, check Squat Me Pete's shop. So I'll go uh, and get some stuff. So I'll go go there. One of the items that we're going to need to buy before we enter the level, and yeah, you saw me entering the level before, before, but that's probably because I had forgotten, and I'm sorry about that, is that um, we're going to finally buy um, one of the heart pots from Swap Me Pete um, before we proceed on with the level. We'll also, we also are going to buy a few other little items from him, too, that are important for the level, too. Hello, Croc! Five flavor gunny, gummy saber jumps for double jumps, a mere 60 crystals. Make sure you buy the right gummy jumper, jumper for the job. Yes, I take it! Useful heart pots, 250 crystals. Yes, I take it! Okay. I decided to cut back back again so then um we we are right near the introduction of this level. Okay, um 
Once again, I'm going. I'm just going to show you how to complete the level, and I'm not going to go after all the colored gems. I actually forgot to buy two important other items from Swap Me Pete Pete's shop in order to beat this level 100%. And in fact, one of the items, a Clockwork Gabo, is in fact a very important item to get for this level for um, actually a two reasons, which I will explain later. <laughs> uh, yeah, and as you can see, ironically enough, enough I'm chasing after, after the birdie thief, and he's um, dressed like, like one of those old-fashioned um, jailbirds. <laughs> A bird, bird, feet, a jailbird stealing a bird. How oh, anticlimactic. Swigging through the jungle on vines. <laughs> the reason why I say this level will get kind of tough as you progress on is that there's um, two parts that are kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Gosh, that's a long bridge. <laughs> oh, another injury to the hippo's mouth. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about. This part's kind of a pain in the butt. And introducing a new type of um, platform called easily breakable um, platforms that look like um, big bo wooden boxes, but look like they're cracked and destroyed in some places. Make sure you land on them, then, meet it, then immediately jump off them, otherwise you're going to have a lot of problems on your hand. And if you're curious, um, over there is actually um, is another important region where you're going to need a blue lightsaber gummy in order to collect one of the colored gems for this level. Which I will show off um, after I beat this the first time. Yeah, it was at this point when I remembered that um, you needed to get a clockwork gobbo also. <laughs> yeah, sorry about all that. My bad. Yeah, here we go. And if you remember from the previous par part what I, what I meant, explained to you, you'll understand why this is kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. It's... Um, it's just the control Ow! system for the for the swinging it, it is why this is so so much of a pain in the butt. But make sure you don't Ow! press X. That that's what I've been that's what I'm doing stupidly enough in order to cause that to happen. Except for near the end. You know when you pr release it with the square button. It sounds, 
I know it sounds tough. Press e, press square, then um, press X, X um, with square. But trust me, it's not as hard as it sounds. And with that, I have reached the end. And and of course, because this enemy, this stupid running enemy, we have freed um, the Gabo, the Sailor Village Gabo's mascot, little bird. <laughs> Fly free, bird, fly free. And, um, uniquely enough, um, the gong actually has um, the, the picture of Swap Meat Pete on it. Thank you, Croc! No problem! Okay. It is now time to go after all of the colored gems and the golden gabo statue for this le for this level actually. To start things off in order to do this, we're going to have to um go back to Swap Me Pete's shop. Make sure you have enough cash on hand or in this case enough um crystals, but <laughs> that's what the currency is in this game. Hello, crook. Crystal ga Gaze Gummy Jumpers are simple jumps, a mere 40 crystal. Make sure you buy the right gummy saber for the job. Yes, I take it! Five flavor gummy saber jumps for double jumps, a mere 60 crystals. Make sure you buy the right gummy saber for the job. Yes, I take it! I think I already had a clockwork gabo um, with me. Um, so, so yes, um, as long as you have those three items, you'll be able to get through the level and collect all of its colored gems for, for the birdie level. If you're curious maybe why I might have forgotten, it's just, uh, I remember them for most levels, but trust me when I tell you, it can be kind of hard at some points to remember which, um, you know, which levels you're going to need certain items for. But thankfully enough, I do gain. I can, I do actually amass a lot more cash as we progress on ahead, and it gets a lot more simpler to deal with that kind of thing. So, without without any introduction, we will start. Um, I will show off how to collect all the colored gems for this level. Chasing after um, such a stupid cliche thief. Oh, how, how annoying this can be. There's a heart piece down here, just be careful. Oh, oh, how, oh how, um, how the music for Croc always repeats itself. Um, And I just lost my heart, heart piece of what a shame. Right in out of blue, I wonder if that really is fun. And don't worry about only having two pieces of health, if I remember right. I once again restore my health. Running on stone bridge, I can. Um, I must be awfully strong to be that long. <laughs> and I just run and be really careful when on this stupid um, wooden plank thing. Especially with these stupid tars and dantinis that you've seen several times already. <laughs> We're dantinis, kings of the jungle!
Oh, wait a minute. I remember right. I didn't gain back all my, all my health, but I do go back into this level to restore all my health, even though I could have just used the boat race to do it. But, oh well, I guess I just thought that I could replay through the level level because um, once you get the hang of it, it's not really that hard. Like I, like I just said, this isn't really that that too hard of a level. There's far more harder, more frustrating levels along on the way, but on the way, but out of all of the, you know, first le um, level, um, you know, levels when it comes to the first um, village, this is actually the t hardest one, like I mentioned earlier. Anyway, this is where you actually collect the final five um, gems that um, you wouldn't find anywhere else in the level. I decided to try and skip um, collecting those because um, there is actually, awesomely enough, both a heart and a heart pot you can collect, or a heart container, but um, the thing of it is you really don't need it um, once you amass enough cash and actually can buy all the heart pots, heart pots that you need from Swap yep. Eight. Yeah, that's the thing of it. If you're, if you miss like one, don't worry. Like I just said, if you can collect enough cash, you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to actually um, get it back. You'll be able to actually collect, or in other words, buy one from Swap Meet Pete. And thus, you can get all of um, Croc's total hit counts for this game. Which I will tell you what, how many hit counts he has um, when we get to the, get near the end. I want to be, I want to save it. Um, for later because it's actually kind of funny and a little bit creative. Um, you know, his uh, the limit to it and what Swap Meat Pete says when I try to buy more than, than the amount, than the limit. Jumping over these pits! <laughs> to the feed when nothing was left but his eyeballs, which is what happens when you defeat any dead teeny in this game. Oh, jeez. Okay, as you can see, you'll have to avoid all these swinging guys. This last part's pretty 
kind of tough, tougher because, like I said, you got to time it right with the breakable object and the screen. But as you can see, I successfully collected it once again. And with that, I have beaten the level. Okay, everyone, I will now proceed on on ahead to the next level. But but um but I'm going to cut because I decided to return back to some. Um, previous levels in order to regain Croc's health and to collect some more ca needed cash. So I will, um, I will see you um, late later when I get to the next um, level. Okay, I decided to show off this um, this part because um, I was actually I actually wanted to go back and collect the heart pot that I missed. Eh, I don't know why, but I guess I just didn't want to waste so much money at Swap Meat Pete's shop, and I knew I could get another extra heart pot. So with that, I have six hits, and as you can see, I didn't lose any of my health because I was once again getting, um, I was really getting the hang of the level again. Anyway, I'm going to cut now, now to when I got to the net, beginning of the next level. Um, now we are actually, um, before beginning the next level, um, next level, we are actually going to collect the two necessary items for the next level, and it's actually the easiest level um, for Sailor Village, um, next to the boat race, actually. Hello, Croc! How can I be of assistance? Once again, I'll take one of your items! And once again, I am explaining about the clockwork gobble, which I already talked about. <laughs> yes, I take it! <laughs> yes, those are the only two items you're going to need for this level. Um, and actually, um, the gobble that, that, you're, it's, that is included with you is actually quite helpful for this um, next level. It's pretty fun, actually, um, using him. Yeah, so how do you like that? A gobbo helps Croc out instead of it being the other way around. <laughs> yeah, that's a twist. So anyway, um, yeah, um, I didn't begin the level. That's why he wasn't in my backpack. He's only in the backpack for the actual level. I'm just trying to get through the conversation as fast as I can because I've already um, talked, shown you what it was like. So let's just get this started. Okay, so. So let's begin the level, shall we? If you want to skip any of the Gabo's conversations, I think it's the triangle button, but I could be wrong. Anyway, um, introducing the first um, new enemy to this to to this game for this level, um, the pink stupid Dantini shooters. Um, and as you saw, the idea is to actually run and then tail swipe them in order to try and avoid their blast. It doesn't always work out and introducing a new other concept um, climbable grates. Um, Croc is actually quite fast in this game compared to um, the previous Croc game actually when it comes to climbing and I think that's pretty awesome in reality. Anyway there are two ways you can go and it's just and one of the ways is just so you can um, use your use the your Gabo friend in order to actually reach a color gem. And because this, this level is so easy, I am actually going to collect all the color gems for this level, in addition to the 100 gems. So that's so a nice bonus. Croc, Croc, Gabo, Gabo, get crystal. Croc, don't stand too close to the edge like an idiot like that. You're going to fall off. Man, this is good orange jello I'm eating. <sighs> Jackass. Oh, come down here because this is 
come down to this area because this is where you have to use the clockwork gobble for this level. Thankfully enough, you really only have to use them to collect all the gems. But because this level's so easy, I didn't really lose any of my hit points except for that one, and you can ease and I was able to easily recover it. Trust me, because this level, because I said this is like the second easiest level um, in uh, in the first world, they provide you with plenty of hearts in order to get through this, aside from it being a pretty easy path. Anyway, just make sure you run, jump, so you can grab onto this balloon and not fall in the bad green water. This is a jungle, and for some reason it has a bunch of polluted water for some stupid reason. <sighs> Let's go spelunkin', shall we? <laughs> anyway, um, if you're curious, yeah, I said I'm, I'm eating some delicious um, orange gelatin. And if you're curious, um, Oddly enough, in the British version of this game, um, lifesaver gummies are actually um, ch all purple gel are actually gel different colored gelatins. Yeah, that's right, they're gelatins. So <laughs> it's kind of odd how I'm actually eating orange gelatin, and the jump pads um, in the British version are gelatin as well. <laughs> oh, that's just strange. <laughs> Anyway, for those pat, um, for those platforms, make sure that you stand, try to stand perfectly still, still when you're climb, when you're actually climbing, um, towards the end of those. Anyway, to get, to actually get that heart piece and to, um, and to actually be able to get up there, um, jump down onto this grate and you can actually jump on the top of, um, this elevator and it will take you up. Just make sure you um, just do a little jump with Croc to activate it, okay? <laughs> and with that, I restored my health again. Yeah, yeah, this is really one of the easiest levels. Trust me, trust me, if you see what I'm doing, doing, and for any kids out there, yeah, this is a pretty simple level, but of course this game is so old now that I doubt even, that of course no kid, kids in their right mind will even be playing this nowadays. More of them are now interested in, in that Skylanders game, or Disney Infinity, and pretty much some of the reactions of those kids, I mean, for crying out loud from the commercials, Skylanders! Skylanders! Oh yeah, um, don't forget when you're in this area to use your Gobbo friend again to collect the next gem. <laughs> wee! I'm wee! I'm the little Gobbo and I got springy boots. <laughs> Actually, that would be kind of a cool concept. Heck. Um, the only character I know of that actually do has ever worn springy boots before, and it's pretty awesome in my opinion, is that of Banjo and Kazooie. And if you're curious what I mean, um, it'll be in a, um, later, it'll be in a later, um, well, yeah, it'll be in a later Let's Play I'll do, okay? Only problem is, given... What type of game it is, I have no idea how I'm going to include commentary for that game. Seriously. Well, never mind. I think I can add com Oh yeah, that's right. My pinnacle stuff does allow me to add in commentary. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I was worrying for nothing. Oh, yeah. The yeah, make sure you hit those boxes. Um as you as you can see they actually make helpful platforms once again the ever annoying breakable crates come back oh that was close Take that, 
jerk. Oh, yeah, don't forget to collect this one as well. Thank you, crack! <laughs> Oh yeah, those new platforms, yes, they're they're small collapsible platforms. Thankfully enough, if you just jump over to another platform, you'll have perfect time to um, get across. For this next area, um, this is the first time in the entire game you're going to have to use Croc's double jump. So, don't collect the key over here yet. Instead, go over here and actually try and gain some height with Croc, Croc with his double jump. Like an idiot, I thought that I could use, um, land on this box and reach the jump. The idea really is to just jump on the box and then move, and then move forward just a little bit so then Croc can, can perform a double jump. I keep missing the platform I'm supposed to get on top of! But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, there! There I go! <laughs> I thought I already collected the key, but then I re remembered, oh yeah, I have to go back, I have to get the key. <laughs> I gotta say one thing though, I'm actually pretty um, happy to say that the I'm glad they actually use different music for the ca for the caves in this game. That's pretty cool. And there's actually some different soundtracks um, further into the later parts of my um, Croc Let's Play that actually includes um, different um, songs songs that aren't actually quite similar to the um, to the beat to the tune of of that you'll typically hear for the croc let you know croc 2 sorry eh. i had a s little bit of a speech lapse there i didn't mean for that to happen that is why you're going to need the um green gummy plat that is why you're gonna need the green gummy jump platform. I ha I know I must have missed one of the colored crystals, but I had all my health by this point. And there's the and there's the jerk bird that um, took the gabo's lunch. Let's teach that that bad old birdie a lesson. <laughs> that that jerk. Um, do you know what hit it? <laughs> And once again, this is another gong that includes the picture of Swap Meat Pete on it. But let's let's um, proceed on ahead with the Golden Gabo Challenge. Now that we have all the color gems, and that our little Gabo friend collected the last one for us, this is actually a really e really easy one. It doesn't really matter as long as you don't um, fall a great great height height from here and lose one of your hit points this is actually not that hard just make sure you, it's you have some well timed distant jumps with croc and with that i have collected the fifth golden gabo statue very nice and have completed the level okay that means now we can actually, um... Oh, thank you, Croc! Want to share a sandwich? Got pickled onion jelly! Uh, no thanks! I'm with Croc. Onions are my favorite vegetable, but seriously, I would never eat, eat them on a sandwich like that. Ick! That is such a gross combination. Well, anyway, let's get started and enter the levels. The n next level, shall we? So, Vina, the... Okay, now. Okay, now, everyone. It's time to begin the um, sub-boss um, for the level. And actually, this will lead us into the main boss for the level in addition to that. 
Yes. Um, both the main boss and the... <sighs> oh, dang it. Oh, well. Anyway, make sure that you actually um, do Croc's double jump in the beginning, otherwise you won't be able to get onto this crate. You'll also be able to dodge the Dantini guy with... Um, well, with any luck, but... Like an idiot, I avoid... I missed him. Sorry, like an idiot, I hit him. Sorry, not missed him, hit him. Ugh, ugh. But anyway, make sure you collect all of the gems for this area, for this um, area, because um, you're going to need um, you're going to need to um, collect all these in order to help um, regain all of Croc's hit points as soon as you beat the sub boss, and then you'll go for the fi for the fi game for the level's final boss, and that's actually how it will work for the next um, three levels of the game. Well, next three villages, to be more precise, but yeah. Well, actually, correction, I just remembered now. You don't actually collect any gems for the final boss. Instead, I instead, um, you collect the last 50 from the sub-boss. Use this TNT to defeat Sylvania! Okay, you oddball ginger soda loving squid. Um, it's time to feel the wrath of explosives. This is actually a pretty simple level as long as you don't um, land in the water with Croc when he's holding these explosive boxes. Just use the platforms um, and let them move close enough so you can toss them at Sovina. As you have just seen me do, I just threw an, an explosive at Sovina the squid. Trust me, with like any game, the bosses will get a lot harder, but of course, this is just the first level boss, and the next boss isn't even that hard and either. Oh boy, the professor's not in a good state. Are you called me, my lord? Oh, Cannon Bolt Keith, I need you for an evil endeavor. Anything for you, my lord? Arr! You must find this little green troublemaker and get rid of him forever. <laughs> It'll be my pleasure, my lord. I'll scare him out of his skin. Well, clearly, um, Baron Dante is getting overconfident in himself. Anyway, um, anyway, it's the same concept for also the final boss too. Just collect the 50 gems ahead of time, ahead of time, and when you beat the boss, he'll give you the final 50, thus recovering all of Croc's health. Oh, <laughs> 
and 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 to be be in the nautical pirate fame we got we got actually um mystifying sea like caves and eerie skeletons Ooh. <laughs> uh oh we're trapped Arr! I'll get you you little green chair away Use the cannons on the jetty, Croc! <laughs> that's what the little gobbo meant by the jetty. That's what the that's what the boat's called. Kind of a real stupid name. And ah, uh, sh I should have hit that cannon no problem. But thankfully enough, like I said, this is an easy boss. Very easy boss. Take that, you no good pirate. Just keep in mind for the final um, area, he'll get a little bit more aggressive, but it's still a very easy boss. And with that, I have recovered all my health, and I have beaten this area quite easily. Thanks, Croc! Save Gabos from that nasty pirate! What a big bully he is! Croc should go and see Swap Meet Pete! He's strange, but really nice guy! Okay, and with that, we will begin the next level later. So this has been the Master Chief 1, and I will see you in um, Part 3. So see you later, and goodbye!